The end of the year list begin right now. This first one comes at the request of Patreon supporter Caleb, and I am so pumped for it because it's covering my favorite movie scenes of 2018, and I've got a lot of them. It was very difficult to whittle this list down to just five, but I did it. I'm feeling pretty good about it right now. And the first one I have for you guys is The Strangers Pray at Night, the pool scene. The movie worked just well enough for me, but I certainly didn't love it overall. This particular scene, though, is different. Not only does it really embrace this new vibe and setting for the Stranger sequel, but it also taps into the ruthlessness of the original movie as well. The introduction to the super vibrant pool setting is so striking, and then and just as you think you've got your balance in this new location, you get this really unsettling camera move and Dollface running out of the darkness. That's followed by a top-notch fight sequence with Lewis Pullman's character and the man in the mask. Perfectly timed cuts from the violence under the water to the quiet above. And just when you're rooting for him so, so hard, this shot of the man in the mask coming up from behind him with a knife in hand and... He stabs him and just leaves him there, and it's just this crushing, vicious conclusion to a really great set piece in the movie. Now it's on to the snap in Avengers Infinity War. This movie was really an unprecedented experience, a true event movie like I've never really seen before from start to finish, but that ending is really something I'll never shake off no matter what happens in Endgame. I was aware of what the snap was before going into Infinity War, and I knew that Thanos could use it, but when he actually did it, it still felt like all the air was sucked out of the room, and even though I know Spider-Man, Black Panther, and many, if not most of the others, aren't gone for good, in the moment while watching the movie, the performances, the way the whole sequence was stitched together, it was just so devastating, and truly chilling. My next pick here is the backyard bonfire in eighth grade. There are a whole bunch of scenes from this movie that I really wanted to include here. The pool party scene, I get such a kick out of the scene in the kitchen with the banana, but it's the conversation between Kayla and her father when she's burning her time capsule in the backyard that had to win out for me. With everything she went through, there is just such a sadness to that scene to start, but then her dad swoops in to reiterate how much he loves her and who she's become, and in this particular moment, she is finally listening to him. What begins as a scene that's all about wiping away the bad becomes this really beautiful moment of self-acceptance and knowing her dad has her back and taking a really positive step forward towards high school. It is back to the horror genre for my next pick, though. I knew Halloween would make this list, but it's another one where I wish I could list just a whole bunch of scenes from the movie, but there was one clear favorite here, and it's the sequence with Vicky and Julian. First off, their banter before any killing happens is downright hilarious. I would watch a whole movie of just the two of them going back and forth with each other. But on top of that A-plus humor, their charisma and their chemistry is just so natural. And what happens is that winds up paving the way super well to the more violent, suspenseful part of the sequence. I cared about the two of them, and that ups the stakes tenfold. Plus, the kills here are also filled with iconic franchise components. This particular sequence, it just really feels like the complete slasher movie package to me, and I still, even after so many viewings, cannot get enough of it. Now I'm wrapping up this list with one of my favorite movies of the year. It is Bohemian Rhapsody and Probably no surprise, I am going with the Live Aid sequence. Not only is it just astounding how they were so accurately able to recreate the real performance, but it fits into the full feature so beautifully too. After this epic journey of striving to make music their way, the way that felt right and true, and struggling through a number of hardships to make it all happen, here was Queen on the stage again, and their effect on the masses was just on display big time. I do look at Bohemian Rhapsody as just this big celebration of music and how it can bring people together, and this particular moment showcases that so powerfully that it really did have me in tears. That's a wrap on this list, though. Another huge thank you to Caleb for making the suggestion and for all the continued support. 
Let's keep this conversation going, though. Hit that comment section below and share some of your favorite movie scenes of 2018 right there. A huge thank you to everybody out there watching this video. Do not forget to like and share it, and I'm going to see you soon with even more end-of-the-year lists. <laughs>